I uh, love coming to Penn State. Um, they've been the top of our league since I, since I played in the IBA uh, in, the, in the 2000s. And when I came back to coach here, they've been the gold standard um, just for, it's a beautiful, we run uh, events and they've been the top of the league. They're number three in the country, I think, right now. So just a treat and a pleasure for us to come out here and compete against these guys. Um, and they're really good. And we hung with them in several statistical categories and just our serve and pass game was not up to, up to par tonight. So a little, a little bummed and frustrated on that side and we're trying to get, get back. Uh, we got 24 hours to come back and have a, another opportunity. Uh, but hats off to them. They played a great game. And um, let's see what we can do to, to come back tomorrow and uh, compete again. Questions? Your serve has been on pretty sharp most of the season. What was the what was the difference, or what was the change tonight? It's a great question. I asked I asked my staff that in the middle of the uh, first set or second set. Um, yeah, I think you know our serve is uh, one of our biggest weapons, and maybe we didn't serve quite as uh, potently as we have in the past. I also think this is a very tough serving team, and so they see that level of service pressure every day in their game. And so I just think you know Harrington goes back against some teams they've never seen that kind of speed and it, it freaks them out and they you know they struggled a couple times but for the most part they're like oh that's wild and we, we see that every day and so it didn't quite phase them as much um and we just weren't as crisp or as clean as, as we have been so um i don't know what, what are your thoughts on that yeah no I, I i agree with that um brett wildman and uh fisher are both great servers and um, they've obviously added a few other great servers and uh yeah they practice against those guys every day so it's a little tougher to get <laughs> The amount of aces that we've gotten this season, so um, you know, hats off to them. Their service was great. Their serving was great. Uh, but you know, excited for another opportunity tomorrow. As you mentioned, aside from the serve and pass, your numbers were pretty even the rest of the way. So, how do you turn things around in twenty hours or whatever it is to get things better tomorrow? Yeah, it's a quick turnaround. Uh, we play at four o'clock tomorrow. Um, you know, I I think. You know, them hitting 269 is, is a testament to our, our block and defense because that's a pretty potent team, obviously, until we get 529, which is impressive. Um, but, uh, you know, I think we got to improve our offensive numbers. I think, you know, even if we're not perfect passing and even if our middles aren't that involved, typically our pins have hit a little better. And so Brady uh, Webbush had a great night. Oh, you like setting that guy, don't you? I love setting that guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, Ben didn't have, Ben's been having a pretty stellar uh, year this year. So he had kind of a, a medium night, and then Nero didn't play as well as he has in the past. So hopefully those two pins pick it up. We get a little more middle production, you know, but that all starts with the, with the pass. So um, new, news alert, the game came down a certain pass, mm -hmm. as it usually does. Um, but yeah, I think we're frustrated and also excited. You know, I try, I try to keep pushing this idea of a growth mindset. You know, we were here a year ago, and we lost in three much different scores, and then we ended up winning the whole thing. And so trying to stay positive and upbeat and growth-minded and say, hey, if, we're, if we didn't do as well as we could have tonight, how can we come back tomorrow and, and do better? So that's, that's going to be the hope. Um, get these guys some food, get them some rest, watch a little film tomorrow, and try to come back. Were you anticipating Penn State maybe having a little bit of a chip on the shoulder after the way things went in April? Why would you, why would you <laughs> imagine that? Um, yeah, you know, obviously last year was uh, such a unique situation, uh, the way that it all played out. And, and yeah, they've been waiting a year to, to come back and spar with us. Um, and we love it, you know, we love, it's, it's a rivalry and it's a family. I mean, you know, Pat's been with Carver Program for half a decade and he's been a friend of mine for 25 years and known, known Pat since I went to his camp in 96. So, you know, we knew what was, they were going to come at us and we knew that, well, I saw Wilder in the summer in the USA gym, he just smiled and he was, I was like, you training hard? He goes, I'm training hard. I go, okay, okay. So, yeah, we knew they were going to come with some fire and, and uh, but we're excited for the challenge.